Residential learning communities bring together students, faculty, and staff around a shared interest. Over the last five years, we've actually doubled the number of learning communities here at Wisconsin. The motivation was really about improving the undergraduate experience. At UW-Madison, students can choose from 10 different communities which focus on everything from sustainability to the arts. The studio represents all of the art and design opportunities on campus. One of the largest new communities is named Greenhouse and actually features one on the roof. Greenhouse is a learning community that's organized under the umbrella of sustainability. This year, 21% of the students who live in the residence halls are a part of one of our 10 learning communities. It can make a critical difference for students. Just ask Christine Morris. There's light. <laughs> Even though it's hundreds of miles from her home in Washington, D.C., Christine fell in love with UW-Madison and decided to attend. I do get very sad that I am so far away because my family and I are very close. She didn't realize the place she chose to live would end up making such a big difference. When you apply for university housing, a web page will pop up and be like, do you want to join one of our learning communities? And they mentioned why. WISE stands for Women in Science and Engineering. They all live together on the same floor in a dorm. They share a common interest. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Most of the girls on WISE are going through the same things. That's really great when you come to college because, you know, you come to college and you're worried that you're going to be by yourself and it's going to be hard to adjust. I thought a smaller learning community would definitely allow me to get to know people a lot more easily. The learning communities bring together academic interests of students with their living experience. There are a lot of us who are in the same courses. I can knock on the door next to me and say, hey, can you help me understand this? We had like giant study groups where we all just like sat down and studied together. There was like immediate sense of like friendship and family. And that was just the beginning. We have a lot of faculty contact. Faculty come in and they talk about their research. They're looking at the frontal lobe. You just get to make connections with professors and ask questions. That sort of direct faculty contact is just not all that easy to get when you're a first year student. And it changed Emily Gasteyer's life. I may not have switched my major had it not been for WISE. My freshman year, I was able to figure out that that wasn't quite the right path for me. Emily ended up switching from biochemistry to chemical engineering. So that made a huge impact for sure. A lot of the people we've met don't have typical paths. One of the things I hear from the students is that it's so, so comforting to hear that these people that are wildly successful had doubts. Even if you do get a little off the rails, that doesn't mean you can't get to where you're going. You're with people who are like-minded and, and who you can make friends with easily. And then those friendships carry on. It makes it a lot easier to go through like male-dominated fields together. We lose women all along the way. There's still a lot of implicit bias and a lot of surrounding signals that send women in science and engineering messages that you don't belong here. You start to doubt yourself sometimes and just having that community is really important. I hope that it makes them feel like they belong. It just showed me that just because there aren't a lot of us out there doing it doesn't mean that I can't do it. This is something that I know makes a difference in people's lives. I've looked at at least the last 10 years of data, and when we compare women who participated in WISE to women with a similar GPA who did not participate in WISE but were also in STEM majors, WISE women have a significantly higher graduation rate, and it just keeps getting stronger every year. And success isn't just in the classroom. It did open so many doors for me. One of the assignments was to talk to one of your professors and just ask them about their research. And he kind of just was like, do you want to join? And I was like, yes, yes, I do. They designed a cardiorespiratory monitor. And now I'm currently working on the electrodes. And we actually are selling it to a manufacturer in India. And so this summer, I went to India because of this one assignment that WISE gave us to just talk to our professor. Part of the WISE experience is also teaching students that their success should pave the way for others. They are required to do an outreach project. Do you know how much water we have in our bodies? It's important that you tell like girls at a young age, like, yes, like this is something you could do. <laughs> at the science fair, this one girl was like having so much fun. And I was like, did you ever think this could be something you want to do like later in life? And she was like, no, I'm just I'm just gonna do fashion design. And I was like, oh well, you know, like you could learn how to be an electrical engineer and be a fashion designer. And she was like, I could, like. 
That'd be so amazing. They can be a really positive influence on showing younger generations that women can be respected as scientists and be involved in some really, really cool scientific investigations. Maybe the electricity can't get through there. I am hoping that I can let them see all of the open doors that are in front of them. WISE definitely opened all these doors for me. It's helped me to like go to another country. It's helped me with my classes. It set a good foundation to recognize when to ask for help, when to like be strong and do things on my own. It's just endless possibilities. Yeah, nice.